Jivo has been crashing for the last few months. Will he keep crashing? Well, Warren Buffett has got a rule that applies even to Jivo, and that is what we are gonna look at in this video. But first, we are gonna have a look at the news on Jivo because news are very important for the stock market. And this is the latest news on Jivo. So as you can see, Water Tower Research says Jivo has clear path to significant cash flow by building off the net zero concept. And here is the kicker, guys. This is no longer just an idea, but is being validated by the company's inking of approximately $1.6 billion in offtake agreements as part of approximately 20 billion pipeline of contract negotiation. And so overall, the news on Jivo is actually quite positive and there is a lot in the pipeline for this company. But why is it crashing then? Well, the reason is quite clear and it is on the screen right now. So as you can see, these are the early earnings that happened over the last few months on the 12th of August it was the very last earning and as you can see the last three earnings Jivo missed the targets both for earnings and for revenues but you probably know this because in this channel we look at all the news on Jivo and look at the stock as an investment because I'm an investor in Jivo myself I have it in my portfolio and I've been holding for quite a lot of time but the problem of Jivo are not the news is the timing so as you can see on the screen there are actually low carbon premium gasoline that will be sold as suitable aviation fuel but that is starting in 2023 guys we are talking about two years from now and that is why Jivo at the time of recording is tanking quite a lot so where do we go from here is it time then to sell Jivo and buy later on one of the Warren Buffett rules is that it's very hard to time the market and so this is one of the rules the next rule I'm gonna give you later in the video but now there are even some good news on Jivo that will affect the very short term and hopefully this coming earnings and so this is the bit of news Jivo announced today that the production operation at its advanced renewable fuel production facility located in Louvre Minnesota have recommenced production and the timing is the important bit August the 4th so from this month from actually from last month August the 4th they started the production and that earning was not in the latest earnings report but it will be on the next earnings report so that should at least for the very short term so for the next earnings report give us some boost and hopefully we're gonna beat these earnings going forward but it's not only that for the upcoming production of net zero one and this is what you have on the screen right now Jivo has got an agreement with Delta Airlines to supply 10 million gallons of sustainable aviation fuel per year and that is again on net zero one so now you know about short term and also about long term but what about Warren Buffett is one rule about inflation and let me know in the comment section if you want more knowledge from grandpa Buffett so in this article he explained how to invest in stocks when the inflation hits the market and this one rule here and this is the important bit applies to Jivo as well focus on companies that generate rather than consume cash so based on this one rule which means that businesses should be able to be profitable and be able to even scale their production based on very little capital and for that businesses like software company or lending firms banks things like that they do not need a lot of investment to increase their revenues so based solely on this Warren Buffett thinks that Jivo is in absolute trouble yes I'm not gonna pretend there is not gonna be a big problem based on Warren Buffett Jivo is actually a cash burning machine which he would not invest in based on this rule on its own but there is another scenario that I'd like you to take into consideration because it's very relevant as of now and probably will hit us very soon because we've seen that over the last few months and what I'm alluding at is the great value rotation so what we had in the last few months we had a very strong rotation from any kind of stock 
into tech and large cap stocks. So for example, we saw Google, Facebook, Tesla, and all these massive stocks actually going even higher and getting so much cash attention and growing on a month on month, sometimes even on a daily basis. So what we saw earlier this year, there was a massive rotation from tech into great value stocks. And for great value stock, that is where Givo could be a very strong candidate. And if you've been subscribed to this channel, you'd know that I'm a very strong Givo fan. And I think that Givo will be one of the strong winners. And so what stocks will be actually losing ground in favor of value plays, which I think is gonna be Givo, but probably other stocks like IDEX and other EV plays that went very well in the past in 2020 and now are struggling a little bit. And guys, this is Finways, and as you can see, these are the last three months performance for the stock market as a whole, not just the American stock market, but the overall market. And the big cap stocks, for example, Microsoft, Apple, Google, Facebook, they killed it. Amazon grew just literally recently, and I believe that is a bit undervalued, so probably Amazon is to be left out from this massive stock rotation, but Microsoft, Apple, Google, and probably even Tesla, these are the stocks that might get butted and the money would go to value plays, for example, Givo. And obviously there is another factor that is very, very important and we have to mention, which is the plan that Joe Biden has got for the nation. And I'm obviously talking about the 2.25 trillion infrastructure plan to focus on green energy and decarbonation. And there is an awful lot of money that could go, some of this could go into Givo. And if you've been subscribed to this channel, you'd know why Givo is actually a very prime candidate to receive some of this money. But just to remind you, this is the article, Givo congratulates Nobel Prize winner and co-founder Francis Arnold for being named to president-elect Joe Biden's science team. So the bottom line here is that because of Joe Biden's infrastructure plan, Givo might turn from a cash burning machine as seen by Warren Buffett into a potential value play. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section and see you in my next Givo video.